Guys, we're doing chicken fajitas at the sorority house tonight. We're doing them quesadilla style. So check it out. We're going to start with the chicken. That's key. And the cool thing about quesadillas is you could put any kind of filling that you want. But we're going with the chicken fajitas. Now, I like to cut my chicken into strips. You can do it into chunks if you want. You can cook it whole if you want and cut it afterwards. But I like to sear it this way and get a little flavor on all little edges. So for seasoning, I got salt and pepper to start. And we're going to hit that with some olive oil. Then we're going down with some garlic powder. We're going to hit that with some cumin, follow that with some dark chili powder, some paprika, and a little bit of oregano. Guys, one little splash of white vinegar in there. That should do it. We give that a real nice stir. We're going to let this marinate for just a couple hours if we can. So we'll set that aside and we're going to cut up some peppers and onions because these are fajitas. Got to have those peppers and onions. So we're going to just julienne these. I got my red bells. I got my green bells and I'm using a white onion. We'll get them all julienned. And I think we're ready to cook. The griddle's heated up and the chicken's going down. It's been marinating for about two hours. I'm just gonna spread this out. I'm gonna let it get nice and caramelized. Get that good color on there. After a few minutes, we'll flip it. And then we're gonna hit it with some lime juice. This is the last of the flavoring ingredients here. Just give that a nice stir fry up there on the griddle and you're good. We'll pull that off and we'll set it aside. Now I have a bunch of girls in house that don't eat the peppers and onions, so I keep them separate. I don't cook these all together. Of course, you can mix them all together and it's the perfect fajita mixture, but we're gonna keep them separate. I hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Let those go for just a couple of minutes. Get a nice caramelization on them. Those look good. Got some nice color. They're softening up, but they still have a bite. Guys, it's time to build a quesadilla. This is simple. Tortilla goes down. We're going to load it with the cheese. Get a nice thick layer on there. And then we go down with the chicken next. We're going to follow that with our peppers and onions. And to keep this moist, guys, I'm going to add some sour cream right on that. And that's looking good. Flip that thing over. We just go to flip it back and forth a few times. Let it get nice and crispy. That's key for a quesadilla, that nice crunchy edge. Go ahead and just cut that thing into fourths. And look at that. It's just loaded, super flavorful, lots of cheese. I got some guac on the side. And man, this thing was amazing. And guys, don't forget that lime when you're cooking that chicken, man. It really makes this whole dish pop. What a treat. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.